Hi, today we're going to be talking about how to maintain and clean your Glocks. Okay, it's a lot easier than most people think, super easy to use. Uh, that's why I'm a really big fan of Glocks. It's kind of a first gun that I recommend kind of people buy. Glock 19, Glock 23, mattering what kind of caliber you like. Really a big fan. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about how to disassemble them, put them back together, and basic maintenance. Okay, now remember this video is for informational purposes. I'm not stating that I'm not a, in endorsing Glock or anything else. It's just how to take care of them, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we're safe. We're gonna go ahead and pop out the magazine. We're gonna check the gun, make sure there's nothing in there, and then I'm gonna rack it three times. And I like to lock open the slide. I'm gonna look inside and make sure there's nothing in there because we're gonna do something that is kind of unusual to Glock is that, or Glock has the unusual part, is that we're gonna pull the trigger to release the slide. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, now that we've made sure it's safe, we're gonna pull the trigger, and we're gonna grasp the gun right around here. We're gonna put our thumb into the back, we're gonna wrap around the top, we're gonna to pull back slightly, just enough to open it up, take it out of battery. There is a slide release on this side and a slide release on this side. We're going to pull both of those downwards, and the slide just comes straight off. Kind of like the movies, okay? We're going to start by disassembling the slide here. We're going to pull out our main spring, just pushes forward and pops right out. We're going to unlock our barrel, so we're going to pull us push up on it and slide it forward slightly, and then it just comes right back out. Take that guy, set it off to the side. Okay, next part, we're going to take, if you have a punch, uh, something like that, you can get these Glock takedown tools, they work really, really well, kind of recommend those. I'm going to come in right above where the firing pin is, I'm going to push the firing pin up, there's a little plastic sleeve there, I'm going to push down on that plastic sleeve, and I'm going to push that whole slide off the back. Once I've got that off, and come in here, and I can pull that firing pin right out, I put it off to the side, no worries, get my thumb in there and I pull out the extractor plunger and spring. Set that off to the side. I love these little metal trays. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but I really like them as they get stuck to everything, of course, but it keeps you from dropping things. Once we've got that, we're gonna come in here to the firing pin safety. We're gonna push in on the firing pin safety, and once we do that, the extractor will fall out the side, okay? So we just push in on it, and it comes right out, now keep in mind there is a tiny little spring here. You see your extractors right here. Push it off to the side. These are two little parts. Sometimes they will stick together, sometimes they won't. So if you can get them to stick, that's great. If you can't, you just gotta keep in mind that that's what it's gonna be, okay? You know, so a lot of times if you push really hard on them, you can get them to kind of lock in there so it won't pop out. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now the extractor, that's the first thing we're gonna clean here. We're gonna wanna make sure that we've got in behind here. We made sure that we're not gonna have anything stuck in there. I like these little um, brushes. You know, these little toothbrush, anything works, but I can get in there and actually get that extractor all cleaned out. Make sure there's nothing behind there. That's probably one of the only things I ever see that really gets dirty that I'd worry about. Um, come to the barrel. You know, you can swipe the barrel a couple times, clean it out. There's really nothing much. I do that probably once every 250 rounds. Guns don't need to be cleaned like everybody talks about. 250 rounds, good idea to keep them clean, okay? Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the barrel. Make sure we're nice and clean. Take a little squirt on my rag here. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe this barrel down just little, you know, some kind of clean protect and lubricant type deal. Wipe it all down. I like it fairly dry, so I try to wipe off most everything that I've got on there. Remember on my rag when I put it through, I just put a couple drops of oil on there. We're literally talking about a couple drops. And that is plenty to lube the inside of that barrel. That's going to be plenty. Clean off my plunger here, my firing pin plunger. When it comes to my firing pin, uh, there's kind of a neat little trick here to take this guy down to clean it. We're going to slide it in backwards. So that little catch right here is going to go in here. And if I pull down, 
on the spring, I will release the two cups that are on there. And that will allow me, those are two separate pieces, they'll come apart. We can set those off to the side and the whole spring will come off. We want to wipe this down 100% dry. Okay? That's really important. Once we've got it completely dry, then we can go ahead and put it back together. Again, same idea. Stuff it back down in there, pull down on the spring, put the two little cups back on there, and you'll see there are two little wedges that will fit in there. We're checking the firing pin at this point to make sure there's no chips in the tip. And then we're going to go ahead and reassemble. Okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to put our firing pin plunger back in. Or we're going to go ahead and take our extractor and drop that guy back in. And you'll see that guy as soon as you lock it in. Everything stays nice and tight. We're going to take our plunger and spring. Metal side down. That's one thing people don't always talk. If you stick it the wrong way, you'll know it but the plastic side goes up with the spring side up, metal side down. Okay, push that guy in there. Take our firing pin, push it down in there. Should go all the way down in there. I usually use the back side of my takedown tool. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this guy in. Remember the concaved, or the flat side is on the bottom and there's a little groove side on the top that the little raised side goes out. I'm gonna put that guy up in there. I'm just gonna push down on that firing pin that's going to allow it to slide about three quarters of the way in. I push down on the little plunger and it locks down. We've got pretty much everything done right back where we need to be here. We're going to go ahead and take my barrel. We've made sure we've wiped that feed ramp down and cleaned it up really good. Slide that guy in, lock it in. Take our spring, the pokey side goes forward. We're putting it in there and we're sliding it on to the second groove. Okay, there's two grooves on your barrel. We want it to go into that second groove so it's flat all the way across, okay? That's really important. If you put it on the top groove, you'll get chipping on here. When it comes to the bottom here, in basic maintenance, there's not a lot of reasons to take all this part apart. I don't even really bother taking it apart, but if I have to, I'm gonna show you real quick what we can do. There's three pins, one, two, and three. I'm gonna just pop the top pin out. We're just gonna push it through. Now to remember to keep how to keep these guys separate. That top metal pin is magnetized. The bottom pin, and this is one that it's always so funny to me, it, goes, it falls right in, and then when you try to take it out, you need a hammer. <laughs> and you just take a little tap and it bobs right out again. That's metal. The one in the very back, looks almost like the top one but it is made out of plastic so you push that guy out set it off to the side if you want to see keep it all straight that's what you do this little block right here you're just going to pull up with your tool that guy slides out the whole trigger mechanism and slide stop comes out also and that whole mechanism comes out really super simple Oop, sorry and it's really easy to get all that out. Now this guy, you can clean all this, you know, make sure we don't have any fouling on it. Really easy at this point. Go ahead and put her back in. Just slides back in. It's pretty, pretty simple at this point to get that part back in. Once we've done that, we take our block back in, barrel block back in. We're going to take our slide stop and we are going to uh, slide it in on the left side. So if I'm looking at it from the back to the left side of where that block is and it just slides right in. I'm going to go ahead and take my magnetized spring or magnetized pin, put that in, take my other pin and this is the funny watch. It just falls right in. We had to knock it out with a hammer and it falls right in on the bottom. Once I've got it to this point there's a little spring on that slide stop I have to push down and that pin goes in the rest of the way and it's set to go. You know, you'll just hit it right there and it'll kind of sometimes a little click right there. You'll have one pin on the back, push it all the way in and you're set to go there. Make sure it's just fit in between. Pressure holds it in place. We take our guy here, <coughs> excuse me, we take this, we slide it back, make sure we're good to go there. Put our magazine in, make sure that she locks back. Slide it forward. We're gonna go ahead and pull the trigger. It clicks, we're gonna lock our slide back. 
and we're going to release and what we want to hear is that it clicks and that it fires again. Now one thing I do recommend is taking a pencil with a rubber racer, sticking it down the barrel for this first time and as you cock it and fire it one time you will actually see it jump. So it will actually it will jump one little bit and that will tell you that the firing pin is working properly and the rest of the guns working properly. Like I said, if you hold your gun to the back or your trigger to the back here, we rack it, it will reset and fire again. So if you've done all this, your gun is properly maintained. Um, lubing wise, the only thing I would recommend, like I said, we keep the whole slide as dry as possible, but we do lube about five little parts. I take my little lube gun here. I'm going to lube the four corners here where the slide hits. There's one little stop here. This actually hits that firing pin safety. I'm going to lube right there. And then one drop of lube right in this area right here on your connector. So once you've done that, you are all set to go. I'm going to go ahead and slide her back on. I do not like a lot of oil, nor does the gun need it to work. So make sure you're not putting too much oil on them. Make sure you're running them dry. Biggest problem I see with Glocks out there is people over oiling them. Not that the oil will cause a problem. I see guys go, oh, I'm going to pour oil all over it and it still works just fine. Of course it does. Oil collects dirt. And if you're carrying this gun every day, and if you've actually carried before, you will know there's going to be dirt and sweat and skin cells and lint and all kinds of stuff that gets in these guns. The more lube you put on this gun, the more you will collect that dirt.